another researcher. Why did you decide this would be your career? It's a long story. <laughs> Alright, just remember to keep that jacket clean. Open her up. There you are. Hello, are you Dr. Wolf? Yes, you must be Dr. Bradstone. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. This is my first time in an anomalous site. Well then, allow me to show you around the facility. That up there's HQ. Your card gives you access to nearly the entire facility. This is one of the exceptions. This way leads to the infirmary and uh, the morgue. Don't want to end up there. And here, oh, this is where things get interesting. This is where we keep the anomalies. Safe SCPs aren't really a problem, it's the Euclid ones you should worry about. 096 and 312 will both kill you if you so much as a look at them. Since you're new, we won't put you in any danger right away. You'll be in records, but it's important to remember that working for the Foundation is an honour. Many thanks. So, do we have the results? The subject has not left 049 cell yet. Well, I'd like to see them once today's test has been completed. Hello, you are... Bradstone. Eric Bradstone. Good to meet you. I'm Dr. Banks, but you can call me Jenny. I'll show you to where we're working. I believe you have level 2 security clearance. Just go through the documents and flag any information that looks unnecessary or inaccurate. This is probably the safest and the most boring task for any personnel within the facility. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Right, you lead the way. Of course, you'll be pleased by the progress we've made. Open the containment chamber. I see you are sick. Still talking. Good. The pestilence. It runs through your veins. I can... Let me cure it. No. This is a bad idea. Stop the test now. Oh, damn it! <laughs> move out! Move out! <laughs> Stay here, we'll get the medic over as quickly as possible. Would you kindly explain to me what the hell happened here? So there was a containment breach at SCP-049 cell. Dr. Jones was one of the casualties. Oh god! Where's Wolf? In the infirmary. He was wounded. What do you mean, wounded? 049 doesn't wound people. No, it was... one of its... Oh no. Where's the anomaly now? We've isolated him to a small section of the facility. That's not good enough. I want SCP-049 back in its cell and those... things to be properly dead and in the morgue by tomorrow. Yes, sir. Who's in records? In this section, we have Dr. Bradstone and Dr. Banks. Make sure that not a word of this incident makes it out until I give the all clear. Yes, sir. Attention, all personnel. This is Site Commander Henry Bacon. There has been a containment breach in Block E. A task force will be dispatched if the situation gets out of control. Remain calm and cooperate with security protocols. You may be aware of SCP-049's containment breach. Dr. Wolf was injured by one of the reanimated corpses. Explosions will be detonated in order to deal with the problem. Stay calm and record none of these events until this has all been cleared up. Explosives? Surely they would have more sense. I'm not the one making the decisions. If you have a problem, take it up with Sakem. Where are you going? To talk with Commander Sakem. Dr. Bradstone, what's the issue? 
We can't detonate the explosives. I need to get this information up to HQ as quick as possible. I'm afraid I don't have the authority. You'll have to talk with Sakem. I need level 3 security clearance. <sighs> Here, I have a spare. That should get you in. Can't we just delay the report? I'm sorry, but the detonation of high explosives is bound to attract some attention. Well, how else are we meant to sort this? Uh, sir, Dr. Bradstone wants to speak. What does he want? Says he has useful information regarding SCP-049. <sighs> Send him in. Go ahead. Well, sir, traditional forms of termination are ineffective against SCP-049. Therefore, explosives may not actually work. Well, how do you suggest we contain it? Well, perhaps we could instead lure it back into its containment chamber. Um, what about those walking corpses? They're mortal, but we could possibly heal them with SCP-47. <sighs> it sounds plausible. Dr. Springs? It's worth a shot. Why would it be more effective than termination? Whether it can be killed or not, it's preferable to keep it alive. And? It will be less obstructive than explosives. It's worth a shot. Commander? Alright, but if this fails, there will be consequences. How are you going to heal him? Along with minor flesh wounds on his back, he has received severe damage to his right leg going straight to the bone. Brief exposure to SCP-427 should hopefully repair the damaged tissue. Okay, thank you. I hope they know what they're doing. Continue along the corridor to the right. Dr. Bradstone, what would you say is the best route? Why are you asking him? What's his authority? Well, this was his idea. He may have picked up a few things. Huh. Given where SCP-049 was last sighted, it may be best to take the long route. We'll see about that. Commander, take the turning on the right. Make sure the cell's open. Come on, come on! Don't be afraid. I can kill what ails you. SCP-049 has been contained. <sighs> he was a brave man. Your plan went perfectly. A stroke of genius. He's not beyond saving. We could still heal him with SCP-427. I think he's beyond saving at this point. Besides, we shouldn't be wasting our resources on low-class personnel. But... but he's a hero. He was a Class D. You've no idea what terrible things he might have done before he ended up here. You're right. Thank you, sir.